So today we are going to be talking about date and time. Everything you need to know about date and time, I'm going to be talking about it today and it's going to be really, uh, really brief. So for instance, if we go to vehicle hires, you see that we have date field here, and we have time field here. And if we go to the highest list, you see the date here and you see the time here as well. So let's start with the basics. If you want to handle date and time in Java, there are three things you need to know. First is the date time in the model. So in your class, how do you define the fields that contain date and time? In case of date, you need to use the date data type like this. Don't use something else like date time or something. Just use date if you want to handle dates. And you need to specify the date time format using the at date time format annotation and specify the pattern you want right here. Now, this date you see here also includes time. So, but in this case, we are handling only date since we have time as a separate field right here. So here you specify the date type to be time, uh, to be date and specify the at date time format annotation and, spec and specify the pattern you want. Now you can change this pattern to see how it looks like. I'm not going to cover this now. Take some time to play around to see exactly how it looks. And in case of time, try to use string. Actually, you should use string if you want to handle only time. For instance, in a ticketing application, we have to have to log the time when the ticket was raised up to the seconds in uh, uh, up to seconds interval, then you need to use string. Okay, so this is about the model. Now, if we go back to our page, if I come here, you can see that if I click on the time here, you have the time drop down allows us to select time and the date allows us to select date. Now, to achieve this is very simple. You simply set the type. So if I go here, you can see the input type here, set it to time for the time input field. And in case of the date field, set it to date. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything more. Now, let's now talk about the last thing you need to know, and that is the list in the table, how to manage this case. In this case, we want to extract only the time. We want, we want to remove all the 0, 0, 0 here. Uh, and to do that, you need to use dates.format. Let me show you. So if I come here right now, if I go to the tables, we have the table right here, and we have the higher date out, higher date in. Now we need to use dates.format. Now in this case, I'm going to simply uh, paste it because sometimes typing it and putting all these quotes can be a problem. So I'm simply going to paste it right here. So what happens here is that we use the dates.format function and specify the date. That's date field, which is higher than date L. And then here we specify the format we want to use. Now you can change this to M, 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 maybe you want to display the month's name, you can also change it to 4, 4, M, lowercase, you want to display the full year, Y, 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 is what we have here. You also can try out different things to see how it plays out. Now, if I refresh this page right now, you can see that it's going to uh, actually display the date uh, correctly, only the date. So if I refresh this page now, you can see that this displays only the date. So this is a much you can do, uh, you, you, you should know for us to continue in this application. You can actually try a whole lot of things if you want. Uh, for instance, try to figure out how to add uh, 24 um, a.m. and p.m. here, because this is, in case of this case, uh, this timeout, we have only, uh, we have 24 hours here. Uh, so try to fix this yourself. So I'll be stopping here and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe and also let's just see where we are. Uh, we are currently in part 49. So in the next part, we are now going to see how we can attach PostgreSQL database to, the, to our backend um, uh, uh, database server. Instead of using MySQL, you use PostgreSQL because sometimes PostgreSQL works well with free uh, hosting services like Heroku. So I remain kind on the tech pro and we see in the nice part.